Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use TaxJar. TaxJar is amazing software that you can use for your business from the accounting perspective. So let's say you have e-commerce store and you're selling in multiple states. TaxJar can help you tremendously with that, with all the necessary information for taxes. And it can teach you a lot. So the first thing that we're going to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on link. Now, when you're going to scroll down below and click on a the link, then we will get right here, start a free trial. So let's click here, start a free trial and let's create account together. This is how we are going to start. So first name, I'm going to add Marcus Donelius, then email address. I'm going to do right here, copy, paste and password. OK, start a free trial. You don't have to add card, anything. You just click on the link, get right here, start a free trial. Start free trial. And now business name is going to be Sanwi like this. On average, how many orders does your business process each month? Right now, I'm 0 to 200. And phone number, it's optional that you can add. Choose country. Where is your primary business? So my prim primary business is in Slovakia and I'm going to add like this and like this. Continue. You just add a country, street address and everything. How can we help you with the tax compliance? If, like now we choose if you need tax calculations, calculate the rooftop accurate tax rates at the checkout in real time. This is really important. Let's say if you have a website, a custom made e-commerce store. This is perfect. Reporting and monitoring, access detailed tax reports, receive insight on your compliance and filling. Automate tax fillings and payments without a file. Press continue. Who will be joining on your tax jar? Again, you just add an email address here and enroll member or admin. And you just add your email address. I don't have anyone. You just add the email. And if it's a member or admin, um, admin can like do what you do and member is going to like see and all and stuff. Skip for now. Voila, here we are. So now I'm going to click view my dashboard and what do you need to do first? So this is just um, like the basics, what you need to do to actually understand. I can create also advanced tutorials if you want me to about filling and everything. So let me down below in the comments if you would want me to create advanced tutorials. Now, I'm going, you can welcome to TaxJar. Congrats on taking the first step towards simpler sales tax management. I can get started here and you see what you can do. You can also view demos and you're going to see click here, contact integration. So now when you're going to do it and connect the integration, how did we get here? You would go to your account. Uh, you can go also to settings and to account settings and you would find link accounts here. Here you can simply connect whatever you need. So data sources with Amazon, Shopify, eBay, Etsy, PayPal, Square, Squarespace, Walmart, QuickBooks. Again, you choose yours. Or if you want TaxJar API, integrate TaxJar into your product. This is really great. Uh, so let's say that um, you have your custom made e-commerce store. You would just simply integrate text jar to your AP token, live token, you would like add it to your, let's say website. But again, if you have Shopify store, if you have Amazon, if you want to add it to PayPal, you got it right here. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. And now when you got it and when you link your account, you can simply go back and then you have like demo experiences. You can view demo for, let's say here, New Mexico and see how it looks like. Then compliance monitoring, you can view demo. And this is how the compliance for economic nexus insight for states. And you see states where you may have economic nexus States approaching economic nexus, Colorado, District of Columbia. So this is also really important. 
Now, when you come here, you're going to see transactions here. In transactions, you would find all the necessary transactions. What was happening? Auto file here. Auto file manages prepares and file state returns for your business, saving you up to six hours per filling. Again, uh, here you can auto file exemptions. You would find all the tax exempt customers and products. So here, when you're going to connect your Shopify store, when you're going to e-commerce, Squarespace, whatever, you will find it right here. And then we're going to see the filling history. And you can go simply go to the top right, record filling. And now I can, a tax form should only be used as a tool to record a complete sales tax filling tax jar. Submitting this form does not submit filling to the state. And you can simply add a filling period, due date, date of the filling, description and notes, and everything, and you can record the filling. So this is how you can simply a filling, add a filling history. Now, uh, this is, as I mentioned, just a walkthrough tutorial. What I can do is, of course, connect it, let's say, with Shopify store. I can create orders and such. And then I would show you step by step what you should do. Let me down below in the comments if you want me to do it, and I would do it. Then on account, you can simply go on top right business profile. And here you get necessary all the information as a federal tax ID. Reads billing address. Support. Plan and billing. Here you will have all the necessary information about the plan and billing. Starter professional. See? Now if you're gonna have like a lot of plan tier lot of orders you would pay more money of course it depends how many orders you're gonna have and you can have billing frequency monthly or annual state nexus settings this is a next thing that i want to show you. you can simply add a state with an access and you would select a state here so when you come here you're gonna let's say california and state assigned payment schedule if it's going to be annual fiscal quarterly monthly Let's say I'm going to choose annual state registered business name, state tax ID, Nexus established today, shipping handling taxability, okay, fully taxed or tax temp default, save information. And voila, here you would add states with the Nexus completely easily. And this is pretty much it how you do it. Now, of course, you're going to see also notifications preferences here. You can update them and then you're going to find also account security as a reset password and two factor. And this is pretty much it. Definitely link your account first where you would find all the necessary information with Shopify that you would add a Shopify subdomain here. Then transactions, you would find all the necessary transactions here. You can auto file it. And then you would like easily find all those states like your tax jar would do a lot of things for you now this was pretty much it and this is how you use tax jar if you can have any questions guys about tax jar let me down below in the comments i'm really happy to help you provide you some guidance support you know how it goes you know how it is and yeah hope i gave you at least some kind of guidance what you can do and how you can start things off definitely i'll add a states here state settings that eight state with nexus you choose it here set assigned payment schedule if it's annual quarterly monthly semi-annual etc state registered business name and state tax id just set it up and you're good to go so thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya